and what is the Hierophant? Well, the Hierophant is one of the cards in the tarot deck. The tarot has inspired this album greatly. I'm no tarot expert, but having a deck for years, I definitely have a familiarity with it, and I've also been drawn to certain cards. So this is my interpretation of the card, the Hierophant. If you look at him at face value, depending on the deck, he can give you Pope vibes. And well, the Pope may trigger certain things for you. And if we play with that archetype for a moment, the Pope is a spiritual leader that is very much removed from us. They are meant as this conduit or this connection to divinity that um, then passes that to us. And we are beneath this spiritual teacher, so to speak. And he holds the keys, right? He holds the keys to hem heaven, potentially to your salvation, if you choose to believe, to believe that direction. And he's also the guardian of mysteries, the guardian of the mysteries of who you are, of your divinity. And so if we continue looking at him as this gatekeeper that you must maybe worship in order to get access to your own rights, then he has a very different take or a very different meaning. What I wanted to do is create, and he was never that for me, let me just say that. He was always a gatekeeper, and if anything, his regalia, which might trigger that sense of separation, were only just challenges to, for me to accept what that brought up and then move forward as those are his, those are the tools that he's, he's inherited because he became, he was the initiate just as we are or were the initiate. And he had to embody his own sovereign divinity in turn to become the spiritual teacher, the spiritual gatekeeper that could then mirror that back to us. And so the mirror could go back and forth. But if we don't see it as a potential mirror that can take us forward and only as a boundary, then we, can, we can't go any further with that card. I tried my best to embody that in the album artwork is to create my version, my reinterpretation of the Hierophant. Yes, some of his regalia, his symbols are there, but he's barefoot in the earth. He's more connected to the earth. He is not somewhere up high, just only connected to the heavens. And he's burned everything to the ground that didn't serve him. <laughs> and that was necessary in order to receive the keys to his, to his kingdom. The Hierophant is maybe the first character our initiate meets and whom he poses very serious questions. And the keys that he offers don't come easily. They come with facing our own challenges, our own perceptions, misperceptions, misconceptions about ourselves, about divinity, about spirituality, about religion, so that we may move forward and experiencing and experience the next moments, the next rituals, the next transformations, the most, the next transformations, the next, the next transmutations, the next transfigurations, all those trans words that are coming in the songs or in the, 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 the initiations to come. Beyond all of that, his message is one of unconditional love.